Hello, boys and girls. How's everybody doing? My name is Pastor Carter, and I'm excited to be here with all of you guys today. So, guys, March is almost done. It flew by, or some might even say it marched on by. Get it? Get it? Anyways, this is the last week that we're going to be talking about cooperation and working well with others. All month long, we have been learning about the importance of working together and how we can work together. And that the idea of cooperation and working well with others is super important to God. And we learned about the importance of helping others in need and working with people to help those in need. Guys, I'm excited that we have all got to jam out and work together because everyone has a part to play, right? It's like a band. Everyone is good at different things. And it's like that when we cooperate with others and we work with others. Now, I might be really good at something, but not so good at the other things. But guys, the people that we work well together with are going to be good at the stuff that we aren't really well good with. That is why cooperation is so important because everyone has a part to play. We all have different skills and talents that we're all really good at. And maybe other people aren't, but the other people and our friends are good at the stuff that we aren't. That is why it's so important that we can cooperate and work well with others because then we all have a part to play. And then we can be like a band. Now, maybe we're not playing the keyboard, but there are lots of things that we can do to cooperate with other people and to help other people in need. Now, I know a group of people that work really, really well together. And I think you know who I'm thinking about, right? Of course. So if you thought of John and Brandon and Kellen, then you are correct. Because I know that they can cooperate really, really well together. But before we get into that, I need everyone to stand on up. And we are going to do worship and then head on into the so-and-so show. So here we go.
finish your story about the spring festival. Oh, right. Yeah, it was amazing. We walked over the bridge and down the hill into this huge field of flowers. What kind of flowers were they? Uh, wildflowers. You belong among the wildflowers. I do. I really do. Then I saw a rabbit with long, long ears. How long were those ears? They were so long! You know, I think that might be a little distracting. Let's get, let me just get something. Oh yeah, that's better. <laughs> hey, do you want to tell the story again? No! I'm John. And I'm Brandon, and welcome, welcome to, to the, the So and So, so show. show. We've had a fun time cooperating this month, or as I like to say, co oping Yeah, I recently co opted a bag of spring greens. You cooperated with some lettuce? <laughs> no, no, no. There's a local food co-op that does crop swapping. Oh, so what did you trade for the spring greens? Well, I make my own campfire starter from lint and hair I get out of my dryer. Remind me not to go camping with you. But while I was at the swap, I got to thinking about the so-and-so show and right. how much we depend on cooperation around here. Oh, it's true. Everyone here has to work together to make the show happen. Mm -hmm. If someone wasn't doing their part, the, the show would be completely different. Right. For instance, if we didn't have someone running the camera, it would oh, oh it'd be terrible. It'd be terrible. Just like that. <laughs> I mean, I enjoy playing on the floor as much as the next person. Yeah, yeah. There's a limit. Right, right, right. So so thank you. Thank you, camera operators. For My making phone. a scene. That's right. Okay. Uh, nice. Okay, what about the sound guy? What, oh, yeah. what would we do without his talent? Mm. Oh, that's better. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Good. Okay. Oh, oh, let's not forget the hair and makeup artist. Without her, we'd be completely unrecognizable. Yes, thank you, makeup artist, for working together with us and our faces to make us look good. Or at least okay. Yeah. And how could we forget the set decorator and costume designer? Yeah. Yeah, I think our normal clothes are a little loud. What? I said I think our normal no. clothes are... Oh, just kidding. Thank you, costume designer and set decorator from the bottom of our hearts for making us presentable. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then, uh, of course, Kellen. Yeah, where would we be without Kellen and his cooperation? What he brings every single week absolutely makes the so-and-so show. Guys, you're embarrassing me. Well, it's me. true. And thank you, Kellen, for helping us make this show happen. Anytime. How about making it happen right now? Ah! It's Bible story time with Kellen. You know, one of my favorite parts of doing the so-and-so show is getting to see and hang out with everyone that makes the show happen. Doing the show is a part of my weekly routine, and I always look forward to it. We always look forward to seeing you, too. After makeup and wardrobe, of course. Oh, of course. So you have a Bible story for us? I do. It's about how the early church had to work together and depend on each other daily. Wow. We can't wait to hear it. Take it away, Kellen. You can read about the beginnings of the early church in the book of Acts. It was written by a guy named Luke. Here's what he wrote. The believers studied what the apostles taught. They shared their lives together. They ate and prayed together. The early church cooperated with one another. And speaking of cooperation, here are two sisters who are always trying to work together to make things better. Dee Dee and Jackie, the cheer squad. What up, ladies? Oh, hey, Kel. I got a question for you both. Oh, hit us up. As twin sisters and as members of a cheer squad, cooperating with one another has to be huge. 
Kale, we were working together even before we were born. So true. <laughs> but, do we always work together well? Nah. nah. But we do live together, eat together, and pray together. Amen. Amen. The early church worked together in even more ways. Check this out. All the believers were together. They shared everything they had. They sold property and other things they owned. They gave to anyone who needed something. So the new believers, they lived in a time and a place where it was dangerous to be a follower of Jesus. They had, they had to depend on one another. They had to have each other's back. You know what? Show them what I mean, cheer squad. Let's bring it, Dee Dee. And kick it. Dee Dee, you got my back. Yeah, girl. And I know you got mine. Then let's show them how we do. Got my back, got my back, that's right, I know. Got my back, got my back, got my back, that's right, I know. Got my back. Every day, we're sharing. Every day, we're caring. Need some dough? Here you go. Need a crib? I'm your sis. Got my back. Got my back, that's right, I know. Got my back, got my back, got my back, that's right, I know. Got my back. Slain it as usual, ladies. The early believers shared together, prayed together, worshiped together, and guess what? People noticed. Listen to this. Their hearts were glad and sincere. They praised God. They were respected by all the people. Every day, the Lord added to their group those who were being saved. People saw how the early followers of Jesus treated one another and how they made it a habit of working together, and it made those people want to be a part of it. I wonder if that would happen today if we made a habit of cooperation. What do you think, cheer squad? Give me a C! C. Give me two O's! Oh, oh. Give me a P! P! Give me a E! E! Give me a R! Let's give it up for the cheer squad. Thank you so much, ladies. And I'm pretty sure that will be in my head all day long. Man, that cheer squad is ridiculous. Yes, they are. And they also make an excellent point. The new believers who started the church were able to make such a huge difference because they made a habit of cooperating every single day. Which is, which is something we should all be aiming for. So true. I'll see you guys next time. And hey, thanks for what you do. Right back at you, Kellen. You know, I just thought of someone else on our show that our show couldn't do without. Who's that? Reveal the question. Our special effects team. Yes. Oh. Thanks, special effects team. Whoa. How do you cooperate every day? Yeah, I don't know if you know this about me, but I can get Distracted? Yes. Yeah. So I actually put it on my calendar. I get a little reminder every day. Have you cooperated with someone today? Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. And you know, it doesn't have to be some huge thing. It can be working with a sibling to finish chores. Yeah, or, or helping a classmate understand the assignment. Or just asking your parents, what can I do to help? Oh, oh, oh man, that will blow their mind. 100%. Well, that's all we got. Yeah, hey, what a great month we had. Yeah, we did. And next week, we're going to start a brand new month with a brand new so-and-so show. So we'll see you then. Bye, everybody. At a brand new time. At a what? Well, I mean, they'll, they'll show whatever time they want, I think. Oh, right. But it, like like calendar date. I don't know. You know, we can't forget the lighting, people. Oh, yeah. Or the gaffer, as it's called in the movie biz. Ah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, without them, you couldn't see us. Yeah. So uh, thank you, lighting people. You got electricians, gaffers, best boys. Yeah, what's a best boy? Uh, it's like the main assistant. Oh, well, I want to be a best boy. Oh, I'm sure you can be. Okay. Oh, the writers? Uh-huh. Obviously, we can't do anything without the writers. You know, I don't know if that's true. I don't know if that's true. I think we'd be okay. We, we, we don't have to have writers. Uh,
Wow. Boys and girls, that was such a good worship song. And I learned so much from John and Brandon and Kellen. And I hope you did too. So as I said before, this month we have lear been learning about cooperation and the importance of working well with others. How we can work well with others to help people succeed and to work with others to help those in need. And of course, how cooperation is important to God. And this week, we've learned that it's important to make cooperation a habit. Now you're probably thinking, how am I going to make that a habit? But guys, a habit is just something that you do over and over and over again, that it becomes a habit. So it's like, the more you do cooperation, the better you're gonna get at it, and the easier it's gonna come to you. It's kind of like the saying, practice makes perfect. Because the more you do something, the better you get at it, and the easier it comes to you. It's kind of like if you just start skateboarding, and at the start, you're not really good at it, but you practice every single day, and then all of a sudden you get really good, and it's so much easier to you because you've practiced and you've made it a habit in your life. And it's kind of like that with cooperation. The more we make it a habit and the more that we do it over and over and over again, the easier cooperation is gonna come to us. And we're gonna cooperate a lot more with other people the more we make it a habit. So guys, this week, I want you guys to try and make it a habit to work with others and to work well with them, to either help someone succeed or to help someone in need. So there's lots of ways that we can cooperate. There's lots of ways that we can make it a habit. Now, the big question of the day was, who do you cooperate well with? There's lots of people that you might cooperate really well with. Maybe it's your sibling, because you gotta help them get ready for school. Or maybe you cooperate really, really well with your brother or your sister, or your friend, or maybe it's even your parents or your grandparents. There's lots of people that we can cooperate with and there's lots of ways that we can make it a habit. So right now we need to pray to God to help us with that. Here we go. God, we love you so much and we thank you that you have given us cooperation and that we can work well with others. God, we just pray that we can work well with others this week, God, and that we can make it a habit in our lives. We love you, and in your name, amen. Awesome, boys and girls. I hope you have enjoyed this month all about learning cooperation, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!